hello guys and welcome back to this video is leonard here again and in today's video tutorial i'm going to share with you one powerful indicator you can use on trading view to scalp the 15 minutes time frame and the five minutes time frame all right so recently the update on trading view doesn't allow you if you are using a free trading view account to use up to three indicators okay so we have to look for an alternative this is just one powerful indicator and i'll be sharing with you step by step on how to use this indicator and the beauty of this is that once you add up this indicator you can use it both on the web version of trading view or even on the app on trading view right so that's exactly what i'll be showing you in this video now i hope you gain value from the video if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up okay and then leave a nice comment below and another thing all right if you are new to my channel if this is the first time of seeing my videos make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever we publish videos like this okay so make sure you join me on telegram and take all the free signals that we are sharing there daily and then added to this strategy you should be able to become a profitable crypto trader so without further ado let's jump into my system let me walk you step by step on how to use this indicator all right guys so here i am on my solana um, chart on trading view and um, basically okay um, aside using just the indicator the first thing i need to do whenever i want to use this indicator is open up that particular pair that i want to trade on um, you know trading view and then i want to spot out areas of support and resistance on the chart all right so looking at solana right here i can say okay i'm going to you know use my horizontal line okay and then spot out this area as you know my support okay i can equally come in here and mark this area as my resistance all right so you see that price you know rejected there rejected before finally broke and then came before you know finally pushed up and all of that all right i can equally mark this area up here so um now this strategy i use it on the 5 and 15 minutes time frame okay the indicator i use it on the 5 and 15 minutes time frame but to spot that this area of support and resistance i normally go you know to a higher time frame okay uh, which is the one hour time frame to spot out those areas of resistance i just need to mark this i don't i don't need to you know overcloud my chart all right this three alone is enough for me and after that the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you go to the indicator tab on trading view all right make sure if you are using your app all right you should be able to follow suit and all of that okay so once you actually um, come up on the indicator tab here you want to go ahead and type in the ribbon for scalping 5 to 15 minutes time frame and this particular one here okay by trade travel and chill will come up okay so you make sure that you click on the star icon here to favorite it so that next time you just go to your favorite and look for the indicator all right so go ahead and click on that indicator and that will be plotted on your chart okay so this is how the indicators looks like and the way it is right now you don't need to do anything all right but normally what i do is to make sure that i don't have these highlights on my price okay on my price scale here yeah, i don't need that so what i want to do is to go um to the indicator over over the indicator and go to the setting icon here once you click on the setting icon the dialog box will pop up and all you need to do on the style option okay make sure that you scroll down to you know uh, the last option here where it says uh, labels on price scale i don't want that okay and i don't want the values too so i just go ahead and check all of that that is the only changes that i make okay these are my own personal preference that's those are the only changes that i make and then i click on okay all right all right so once you add up this indicator to your chart the next thing is to go down to either the 15 minutes or the five minutes time frame that you want to trade on okay um, in this case i'm going to use the 15 minutes time frame and here on the 15 minutes time frame okay briefly how to use this ribbon is um basically if i come up here okay when the candlesticks okay when the particular set or uh, you are trading okay when the candlesticks are trading above the ribbon okay you see all of these moving averages will change to green all right and then when they are trading below the ribbon you see everything will change to what okay when candlesticks are below you see everything will change to red okay now you can use this indicator alone to trade i've tried it out it has been working for me and you can use it to trade and it will give you a whole lot of nice you know trades that can give you a whole lot all right so the areas of support and resistance that i mapped out on the one hour time frame is basically to give me an idea of where the market is moving to next let's say we are rejecting at the support okay i want to target the next you know resistance area 
And if we're rejecting at the resistance area, I want to target the next support areas and all of that. All right. So if we do reject at a support area like this, okay, and then you see that all the ribbons have changed, okay, have actually turned to um, uh, green, that gives you a sign that, you know, the market is bullish. Not just that, okay, not just that, but when all of these are moving upward. Okay, when the moving averages are moving upward, not like what happened here, all right? If you see what happened at this area here, okay, this is a consolidating period. And in this area, you can see many false signals here. You don't take any trade here, all right? So is it that the, um, the moving averages or the ribbon is sloping downward in a downtrend? You go ahead and take a trade or they are all moving upward, all right? In an uptrend, you go ahead and take a trade. So in this case, you see that after this ribbon changed to green, okay, all of them changed to green, you can see that the market started moving upward, right? You can see clearly here that from here, this market is trending upward, all right? So this is a good sign. And in this case, what you want to do, you don't enter trades immediately, these things change to green, right? You want to wait. For instance, when we had this push up here, okay, this is when the market started changing and then they pulled back to the yellow line. Now, when this changed to green, okay, um, the, 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 the moving average that doesn't change color is this yellow, right? The yellow lines are your support areas or your resistance area because you always see price will come bounce up there and then push up. You see here, price came and bounced at that yellow line, the second one, and then bounced up here, okay? So, in an upward trend, price will always use this yellow line as what areas of support, okay and then in a downtrend it uses them as areas of resistance and all of that so basically um when you have this great change okay this change of color here when this finally changed okay you want to wait for a pullback to those yellow line and here you would have entered a trade okay so for instance if i go ahead and pick my long position tool i would have entered a trade here for long okay and then target this next support level or resistance level here okay target that next resistance level there and then my stop loss will be just slightly below those ribbons okay so you just move your stop loss slightly below those ribbons and as you can see here this actually hit a full tp so in this case you are getting like a one to four risk reward ratio here all right a one to four risk reward ratio yeah this is one thing i love about the indicator it can actually give you an opportunity to get a good win rate okay a good risk to reward ratio to make some profit in the market all right now at this resistance there when we finally broke out of that resistance okay with this retest here and all of that when we finally broke out okay i would have entered another trade at this retest here you see okay this particular red candle came to that you know yellow line and then it started bouncing off again there you would have entered another trade because we are still in that uptrend the ribbons are still red okay so i would have come here again pick my long position to and then enter a trade at the next candle there and then put my stop loss just slightly below that resistance line which i drew here okay that below that resistance line which would be at the next yellow line there and all of that okay and then maybe do a one to four risk reward ratio again and this would have equally given us another one to four risk reward ratio so here would have taken another profit there all right so whenever these ribbons are green you are looking for buying opportunity and when they are red you are looking for sell opportunity so an example of a sell trade would be um this one here okay this area here would have equally given you a good you know um risk to reward ratio to trade this market so here you see that when the candle now flip below okay the ribbon you see that it changes to red okay and then you would have just entered a trade somewhere around here for a short okay you enter a trade there and then put your stop loss just above the ribbon and then you would have target either a one to four a one to five risk to reward ratio and this would have given you a good trade um here okay so this would have equally given you a good trade here and all of that so at this area here when we came bounce and that's uh, you know here this time around we're now using this area as a resistance so you would have equally entered another short trade here right you would have equally entered another short trade here and then put your stop loss just above that area slightly above that area and target another one to four all right this would have equally been a winning trade 
okay now all of these things can be done if you are using just the mobile app all right so all you just need to do take note of the name of the indicator go ahead add it up to your chart okay make sure you favorite it and start using it all right now if you use this indicator and it works for you um i wouldn't mind if you come back to this video and let me know that it works for you and all of that okay so go ahead and use the ribbon add it up to your chart it's very simple to use you don't need to tweak anything all right you just add it up to your chart and wait for when this price would flip to green okay when the ribbon flips to green you look for buys when it flips to red you look for sell all right and this can give you a, it can actually increase your win rate okay it can actually increase your win rate if you stick to you know the rules by taking trades when it asks you to and then by exiting the, your trade when you should all right so go ahead and try this out this can be used even by beginners okay um if you're a beginner in this space you can actually use this tool and start making some profit for yourself now if you want to join us on telegram and take all the free signals that we share there every day make sure that you use the link in the video description to actually join us on telegram and i do trade with bybit all right bybit is one of the best exchange out there when it comes to derivative trading so make sure you sign up on bybit and currently um they're actually giving out an, an airdrop that you can claim up to 500 dollars worth of btc in position airdrop okay to either open a long or a short position uh on BTC so make sure you join with my link all right and you can claim up to 30,000 uh, as welcome bonuses and all of that all right so that is it for this video guys and I will see you in my next video